The Symbolism of Sagittarius, Bows and Arrows Sagittarius is a sign of the zodiac. The Greeks once called this constellation Toxoitis, the archer, from Toxon, bow. According to both Allen and Menilius, this constellation is under the protection of Artemis, Diana. The huntress, often portrayed with a bow and arrow, meaning in Greece, the symbolism was known and consistent. But then we have Arcandum in 1542, who wrote that a man born under this sign would be thrice wedded, very fond of vegetables, would become a matchless tailor and have three special illnesses, the last at 80 years of age. Meaning that its meaning was lost somewhere along the way. Sagitta is a constellation of the arrow, meaning the pointed projectile that is shot with a bow, whereas Sagittarius is the constellation of the bow or archer, the arrow shooter. Sagitta is not part of Sagittarius. The constellation of Aquila separates these two constellations. To make things especially confusing, the archer has his own arrows. So Sagittarius is indeed the constellation of the bow, arrow and archer. But there is also a standalone constellation called Sagitta, which is just an arrow. In effect, the symbolism of this sign of the zodiac hinges on the archer rather than the arrow. And this, it is suggested, probably derives from the Latin sagire, to seek, to know. And ultimately, a number of sources indicate the key words for Sagittarius are I seek. The Sagittarius Archetype Ultimately, Sagittarius thus symbolically describes a pointed, direct, quick-witted seeker after truth, a celestial Socrates. Sagittarius traditionally rules the ninth house of the Zodiac, and this is the house the ancients referred to as the house of the higher mind and belief systems. In Cratylus by Plato, Hermogenes asks Socrates about the meaning of doxa, and Socrates in his answer provides a very helpful definition and demonstration of the Sagittarius archetype at work. Doxa is either derived from dioxis, pursuit, and expresses the march of the soul in the pursuit of knowledge, or from the shooting of a bow, toxon. The latter is more likely, and is confirmed by oasis, thinking, which is only oasis, moving, and implies the movement of the soul to the essential nature of each thing. Just as bull, counsel, has to do with shooting, bowl, and bulestai, to wish, combines the notion of aiming and deliberating. All these words seem to follow doxa, and all involve the idea of shooting, just as abulia, absence of counsel, on the other hand is a mishap, or missing, or mistaking of the mark, or aim, or proposal, or object. Overall, therefore, Sagittarius is the archetype describing a very quick thinker, logical, rational, and philosophical, a seeker after the truth.
some dates and background. Sagittarius is one of the constellations of the zodiac and is located in the southern celestial hemisphere. It is one of the 48 constellations listed by the 2nd century astronomer Ptolemy and remains one of the 88 modern constellations. The Sun appears in the constellation Sagittarius from the 18th of December to the 18th of January. In tropical astrology, the Sun is considered to be in the sign Sagittarius from the 22nd of November to the 21st of December, and in sidereal astrology from the 16th of December to the 14th or 15th of January. Representations in other astrological systems. This star pattern can be traced to Assyria, a major ancient Mesopotamian civilization which existed from the 21st century BC to the 14th century BC, growing to an empire from the 14th century BC to the 7th century BC. The Sagittarian star pattern was always associated with the ninth month. Kislevu. India also claimed Sagittarius for its zodiac of 3,000 years ago, where it was called Asvayu. Wikipedia. The older name of the asterism found in the Atha Veda, ABS 19.7 in the dual, and in Panini 4.3.36 was Asvayu, harnessing horses. It may be where the idea of the horse body and legs came from in later Western depictions, although the symbolism would be entirely wrong. The horse in Indian astrology signified the mind and needed harnessing to go where one wanted. Their depiction, furthermore, was of a horse's head. Al-Biruni, the Iranian scholar and polymath, during the Islamic Golden Age, concluded that the constellation was the Sanskrit Danu or Danasu or the Tamil Damsu. In ancient Arabia, the two small groups of stars now marking the head and the vein of the archer's arrow were of much note as relics of even earlier asterisms. The westernmost of these, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon and Eta, were Al-Naam, Al-Farid, the going ostriches. On the easternmost, Sigma, Zeta, Phi, Chi and Tau, Al-Naam, Al-Sadira, the returning ostriches, passing to and from the celestial river, the Milky Way. The whole constellation was the Chinese tiger. An early name for this tiger was Seimu. But the Jesuits, quite possibly misinterpreting the meaning, called it Jin Ma, the man horse. A part of it was included with Scorpio, Libra, and some of Virgo's stars in the large zodiacal division, the Azure Dragon. In other words, we can see that the boundaries and naming of this constellation was neither common or constant. But, although it was the Persian Kaman and Nimas, the Turkish Yai, the Syriac Keshtar and the Hebrew Kesheth, Rikiolis, Kutko, from the Chaldeans, all these signified a bow. And in most early maps, Sagittarius was illustrated as simply a bow and arrow. So the name is irrelevant, but the archetype is not. And we probably need to concentrate on the archetype rather than its changing patterns. Not really a centaur. 
One thing becomes extremely clear. When one looks at its glyph, its history and its meaning, its current depiction as a centaur is entirely wrong. Cuneiform inscriptions designate Sagittarius as the strong one, as the illuminator of the great city and the great lord. But illumination is wisdom and inspiration. From Constellations of Worlds website, quoting Star Names, Their Law and Meaning, Richard H. Allen, 1889. The general character of centaurs is that of wild, lawless and inhospitable beings, the slaves of their animal passions. They are often represented drawing the car of Dionysus or bound and ridden by Eros in allusion to their drunken and amorous habits. In effect, a Sagittarius and archetype is almost the direct opposite of a centaur. To continue, the centaurs had a problem with manners, related to Latin manus, hand, and one example shows appalling manners. They were invited to a wedding and after getting drunk assaulted the female guests, laid hands upon them and attempted to carry off the bride. As such, there is no reason to even link centaurs for Sagittarius. The confusion may have arisen as Chiron, who is indeed a centaur, was the exception to all the others. St. Clement of Alexandria wrote of him that he first led mortals to righteousness. His story has been thought in some degree historic, even by Sir Isaac Newton. But he has his own constellation, Centaurus. The Involvement of Crotos In Greek mythology, Crotos, ancient Greek, Crotos, was the son of Pan and Euphemi. He kept company with the Muses whom his mother had nursed. Crotos was renowned for being both an excellent hunter and a devoted adherent of the Muses and their arts. And in Crotos, we might have found the original for the Sagittarian archetype. A genus Fabulae Utu for Crotos, son of Pan and Euphemia the well-spoken, was put in the sky by the Muses as Sagittarian. Crotos was the inventor of the rhythmic beat, which accompanied music. It was also said that when he listened to the timeless performances of the Muses, he expressed his delight by striking and clapping his hands. As such, he was the discoverer of rhythmic beating, music and dancing, both as entertainment and as the means to obtain spiritual experience without drugs or alcohol. See our video, Bliss and Peace. In classical antiquity, a crotalum, ancient Greek crotalon, was a kind of clapper or castanet used in religious dances by groups in ancient Greece and elsewhere, including the Corybantes. The Corybantes, wearing armbands and crests, followed the Phrygian goddess Sibylle with drumming and dancing. From the Suda and the Scoliast on Aristophanes, Nubis 260, the crelatum appears to have been a split reed or cane, which clattered when shaken with the hand. According to Eustathius, it was made of shell and brass, as well as wood. Clement of Alexandria forbade the use thereof to the Christians because of the motions and gestures accompanying the practice and its effects. And in this one move, we see where dance and music, drum beats and castanets, 
and spiritual experience were removed from every Christian's life until this century. Macrobius in Saturnalia 3, 14, 8, says that the sound of the crotalum made a noise somewhat like that of a crane's bill. One of the Spanish names for rattlesnake is Cratalo. On our website, www.allaboutheaven.org, we have identified rhythmic beating sounds at roughly the frequency of the pulse to be a way of attaining spiritual experience of a positive kind, bliss and peace, inspiration, healing and wisdom. The philosopher Heraclitus comments on how both the name of the bow, Vaios, is associated with life, Vios, with a different accent on the vowels, and said the bow has the name Bios, life, its work is death. Thus though a form of death, annihilation, achieved by a music dance, the beating of drums, and the sounds of rattles, we find that Sagittarius may offer us the safest way to enlightenment. Virgil, the Aeneid, the captive thus released away she flies, and beats with clapping wings the yielding skies. His bow already bent, Eurythion stood, and having first invoked his brother God. His winged shaft with eager haste he sped, the fatal message reached her as she fled. She leaves her life aloft, she strikes the ground, and renders back the weapon in the wound. <laughs>